this harvester has been modified to take on one of winemaking's oldest enemies. It's using a combo of UV light, ozone, and hydrogen peroxide to attack fungus, yet safe enough for our camera to follow closely. So far, the results are unbelievably promising. Uh, we're able to ensure that the levels of powdery mildew, downy mildew, and black rot uh, were kept in check. Fungal disease is typically controlled by toxic chemical sprays, so the fruit doesn't rot and become unusable. We're in the part of the season where these vines are about to bloom, and it's critical to deal with powdery mildew, because if left untreated, a bad year in Ontario could see as many as 5,000 tons of grapes wasted. You multiply that across North America, across Europe, hundreds and hundreds of millions of bottles of wine never get made. It could also save farmers thousands of dollars spent on those conventional chemicals. Black rot, downy mildew, etc. But some experts say this solution can't tackle every threat. So what do you think about this approach? Ultraviolet and peroxide, they're very ineffective typically against uh, these other fungal pathogens. We're looking for some um, st uh, yellow stain. But the problem is growing. The effects of climate change are expanding the conditions that fungi love. And in 2017, uh, we saw some more fires, uh, more smoke, um, trapping the humidity on the ground. And that was one of the main uh, reason we had an outburst of powdery mildew. Back in Ontario, this system needs more testing, but the hope is to commercialize and share. I've got a lot of colleague uh, grape growers uh, around North America and wineries. We're inviting them to come out and, and see it. A chance to see the art and science of winemaking take a sustainable step forward. Anand Ram, CBC News, Lincoln, Ontario.